If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Slideshows are a fun way to share your photos with others. You can add text, transitions, and audio to make a truly impressive slideshow. If you open a slideshow created in an older version of Photoshop Elements, Photoshop Elements automatically converts the old slideshow to the new slideshow format so you can play it. You can create slideshows from either selected photos in the Organizer window or from currently opened photos shown within the Photo Bin in the Photo Editor window. Note, however, that you cannot include Photo Editor photos in the slideshow that have unsaved changes unless you first save the changes. To create a slideshow from the Organizer window, Open the Organizer window and select the pictures to add to the slideshow. Then click the Create button in the shortcuts bar and choose Slideshow from the drop-down menu to launch a preview of the slideshow using the existing pictures within the slideshow window. Alternatively, to create a slideshow from multiple photos opened within the photo bin in the photo editor, click the Create button in the shortcuts bar and then select Slideshow from the drop-down menu to first load the organizer and then launch a preview of the slideshow using the existing pictures within the slideshow window. As the slideshow plays you can see toolbars both above, below, and to the left of the slideshow. You can use the buttons within these three toolbars to control the slideshow playback edit the slideshow, save the slideshow, export the slideshow, or exit the slideshow. The playback scrubber and volume setting in the bottom toolbar lets you control the slideshow playback and volume. You can click and drag the small dot within the slideshow timeline scrubber to rewind or fast forward the slideshow. You can click the pause button at the left end of the toolbar to pause the playback. After it has been clicked, this button turns into the play button, which you can click again to resume playback. There is also a button for this within the middle of the slideshow screen when it is paused. After initially creating a slideshow, you can click either the media, themes, or the audio buttons within the toolbar at the left side of the slideshow to both expand and collapse the pane for each section and change the slideshow's settings. Editing a slideshow will be discussed in the next lesson. To save the slideshow, click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the window to open the Elements Organizer dialog box. Here you can enter a name for the slideshow, and then click the Save button to save it. After saving a slideshow, clicking the Save button again simply saves any unsaved changes. To open the Elements Organizer dialog box again after saving it, you would need to click the drop-down button at the right side of the Save button, and then choose the Save As command from the pop-up menu that appears. You can also export a slideshow by clicking the Export button in the toolbar that appears above the slideshow preview. You can select either the YouTube, Vimeo, or export video to local disk commands in the drop-down menu that appears either to export the slideshow to YouTube, Vimeo, or export it as an HD MP4 video file to your local hard drive. If you select the export video to local disk command, then the export dialog box appears. Type a name for the slideshow video into the file name field. The default folder into which to save the file appears in the location section. To select a different location, click the Browse button to open a Browse for Folder window where you can select a new destination folder and then click the OK button. Use the drop down in the Quality section to select the HD quality of the video to produce. Then click the OK button to export the slideshow to a video file. Alternatively, you can export the slideshow to YouTube or Vimeo by selecting either the YouTube or Vimeo commands from the drop-down menu. Photoshop Elements then prepares the video for uploading and asks you to log into the site to complete the upload of the video file. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.